G'day and welcome to another big edition of the Maribara Castlemaine District Football Netball League show. All thanks to Bendigo Bank. My name's Gendy. I'm joined by Mitch Tinney, the operations manager, mate. So we had a few big games on the weekend. We did, yeah. No, thanks for having me. It's good to be back. Yeah, excellent, mate. Uh, I know Grant's still knocking on the door trying to uh, to get in there, but uh, he's, he's, we're not getting the hits with him being on there, let's be honest. So uh, apparently you're the uh, you're, you're, you're earning the big bucks, so we need to put our MVPs in there, mate. Yeah, and he'll be bopping his head up every now and again throughout the season, so um, no, we're looking forward to his insights. Now, uh, it seemed to be a bit of a goal fest on the weekend, mate. Uh, we had Aaron Henneman for Avoca kick the lazy 13. Liam Cunningham kicked 10 goals for, uh, for Carisbrook and Kyle Gillingham. Kick nine out of thirteen for uh, for Harcourt, so it was good to see the goal kickers enjoying a day out on uh, on a fantastic day for football. Yeah, you're right. And there was a few big wins on the weekend, but um, which we don't always like to see. We probably would prefer some closer games, but it does show some some good individual efforts as well when they kick big bags of goals. So. Um, yeah, no, a few good individual performances there. Yeah, and uh, particularly with Aaron Henneman, uh, the former bomber player, kicking uh, kicking 13, just to, to get Avoca some handy percentage and uh, and get the boys up and about and and sort of getting back to some of that potential that we saw earlier on in the year. Yeah, exactly right, and hopefully um, they can uh, repeat that during the rest of the season. Definitely right there, mate. And uh, one of the key things uh, to keep an eye out for is uh, we cannot write off Navarre. They are up and about, aren't they? <laughs> they are, yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, they had a good win on the weekend and they had some uh, some big games in the next few weeks, I think, which will show a lot about their season. They've got um, Harcourt, Lexington, Rovers in the next four weeks um, and I think we'll know a lot more about them than after that, I think, too. Yeah, definitely right there. And uh, they were a chance against Molden. Oh, sorry, Molden were a chance against them on the weekend, but when you've got someone like Chris Brennan who's coming into some great form, he kicked, uh, he's kicked 18 goals out of the last four games. He's certainly up and about. They've... Um, They've won three of their last four. Potentially on paper, they could win their next six games at least uh, and really start to climb back up the ladder and be the force that they have been. That's right, and I think they probably will be. I'd expect them to, to move their way back up the ladder, and they've had a disappointing start, some would say, compared to previous years, obviously, but um, I expect they'll, they'll climb their way back up. And uh, Trentham, are a lot better than what we've been given credit for. They really pushed the, uh, the Swans on the weekend, if not for some inaccurate kicking at some crucial stages of the game. It could have been a different tale. Yeah, and... I've said in the past they've been a bit up and down, but they have only had two losses. So, um, but look, another great contest on the weekend, and um, Natty got a good start, and I think they just maintain that for the rest of the game. Um, no goals actually in the last quarter, I noticed as well. For, for either side. side, yeah, for either side, and both sides actually kicked three points, so they both had a chance to kick away. And, um, Trentham were pretty disappointed that they couldn't run away with it. Yeah, well, five goals, as you mentioned, that great start there by the Swans. Five goals to one in that first term. They were uh, they were really never headed after that. But I think Trentham, a lot of positives they can take out of that contest. But 12 goals in a, a, in that sort of game uh, across a perfect day of football, is uh, it goes to show the, the great physicality we saw between the two sides. Yeah, and Trentham's got the ultimate test next week when they're coming up against Carisbrook. But if they have that sort of form, then they'll, um, they'll go a long way to getting the win there. Yeah, definitely spot on, mate. Well, all thanks to... Uh, to our friends at Bendigo Bank. This has been the, uh, the, the quick insight into what's happened in the latest round of the MCDFNL footy. Mitch, thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to your company later on the week. Perfect.